Christy and I, we were young, we were happy, we were enjoying our lives. I never really thought anything like this would have happened to Christy. Your best friend is missing? How could she be missing? We were just gamblers at the casino, having a good time with other people. The last we know is we see her walking out of uh, Thunder Valley Casino at 1.13 in the morning on October 5th with a man by the name of Mario Garcia, and then she was never seen or nor heard from again. Do you remember the first time that you saw the video of Christy walking out with him? I absolutely remember that. She, she moved her. away. She I moved away from me. Look at that. Again. Yeah, but I still remember her arm going like this and off me. Now, surveillance cameras have captured her leaving the casino with an older man. Her family is understandably frantic, and her parents, Pat and Debbie Boyd, Debbie and Pat have been beacons of hope in this situation. They have endured the unimaginable of not knowing where your daughter is. Debbie turned that pain into passion. I want my daughter back, and I want her back now. I may be five foot one and blonde, but they've just met a barracuda, and the fight's on. I'm just going to ask you straight out. Did you kill Christy Wilson? No. I had nothing to do with her disappearance. All right. I think he thought he was going to beat the case the entire time. He figured no body, less evidence. I can walk away from this. He never thought he was going to be convicted. Guilty of a violation. Yes. And when he was convicted and went to prison, he still had a piece of information. And everyone wanted it. And he knew it. Was she in an ocean? Was she in a ditch? For 15 years, I never went to bed without wondering, where is she? Where did Mario Garcia put her? You got some campgrounds here. You'll have campgrounds on the other side, too. What happened to her, Mario? How could she simply disappear after she was with you? I don't have answers for that. How long have you been looking for Christy Wilson? Since October of uh, 2005, we pretty much have been continuing to look for her. Even after they knew she wasn't coming back alive, they kept looking. Even after Mr. Garcia was convicted, they kept looking. It was important to finally close the case and work on remembering Christy for the beautiful person she was and not a case. We needed to take the mystery out of this for, for Debbie and her family. We wanted to find her to show Mario, you're not going to win. You're not winning this and we're gonna find her and bring her home to the family. Christy and I were definitely soul sisters, for sure. We grew up together in school and just loved pretty much doing everything together. Tiffany DeVries says her best friend, Christy Wilson, just had a knack for making her laugh. I picture her in our front room, just dancing and laughing and having so much fun. I could be having the worst day, and she would always be there for me. We always knew that no matter what, we were there for each other. But Tiffany was not with Christy in the early morning hours of October 5th, 2005. That's when a surveillance camera in a California casino captured Christy walking into a parking lot with a man she met that night. That was really scary because we didn't know where she was or if she could be alive. Christy was then only 27 years old. Her mother, Debbie Boy, can hardly believe how much time has passed. You know, I, I try not to think of it too much because it actually kind of takes me to a very sad place. Since the moment Christy vanished, Debbie vowed not to rest until she knew what Christy's killer had done with her body. I'm her mother forever, and I was not going to give up. Please help us. 48 Hours has been covering the Christy Wilson case for the past 15 years. Christy and Mario come out here. 
It began like so many of these stories do, with a concerned boyfriend telling authorities that his girlfriend had gone missing. I love her, and I know she loved me, and we cared about each other very much. On the evening of October 4, 2005, Christie's boyfriend, Danny Berlando, says she went to the Thunder Valley Casino to play blackjack. Did it surprise you to hear she had been at a casino that night? You know, it, it didn't, uh, because recently she, um, she had been telling me she'd been, you know, playing some blackjack. Back in 2005, Tiffany DeVries was a young newlywed. She's thought about why Christy left the casino that night with a stranger, and she has a theory. But sometimes I think, well, what if, you know, someone put something in her drink? Debbie was aware her daughter had begun gambling, partly because she was between jobs and low on money. Her boyfriend, Danny, felt Christy was gambling too much. When's the last time you actually talked to her? At 10.28 p.m. Tuesday, October 4th. We had a 55-second conversation. This is the actual casino video of Christy taking that call. I told her to come home, and she was like, okay, I'm finishing up. I'll be home soon. But when Danny awoke, there was no sign of Christy. He began leaving dozens of desperate messages on Christy's cell phone. A quarter after 10 on Wednesday. It's now been 24 hours since I talked to you last, and I'm worried sick about you. Danny filed a missing persons report. Investigator Don Murchison interviewed Berlando back in 2005 and says Danny was very cooperative. Anything that I wanted from him when I was at that residence, he allowed me to have. Murchison says investigators soon found their prime suspect when that casino video surfaced. They were able to track down a 53-year-old man named Mario Garcia by his player's casino card. Sheriff's deputies arrested and held him on a weapons charge. Christy Wilson came and sat on my left between me and another individual. In 2006, Mario Garcia told 48 Hours what he says happened in the hours before Christy disappeared. We were at that table for a period of time until that table got hot. She asked me, hey, you want to go with me to another table? And I said, sure. Their night of gambling ended just past 1 a.m., Wednesday, October 5th. Garcia claimed that he and Christy walked to his car and then went their separate ways. And he suggested that Christy may have met someone in the parking lot. But wouldn't that be seen on camera? Well, they don't see that she got in my car, do they? They don't see where she went, correct? Some three minutes and 41 seconds later, Garcia's car reappears on the cameras, and it looks as though he's the only one inside. She hasn't called any family, any friends, all the way up here. Investigations commander George Malam helped coordinate a massive search for Christie through the rugged and varied terrain of Placer County. We utilized search and rescue people in their vehicles, and they drove every road that they could, every driveway, looked in every culvert, and still nothing was found. Among the searchers was Christie's heartbroken older sister, Stacy. You want to hear details? But you don't. It's just I get this image in my head of, God, what she must have been going through. And <laughs> The physical searches turned up nothing. But then, investigators began looking into Mario Garcia's past. And what they found was chilling. You don't cross Mario. You don't cross him. Especially if you're a woman and you're alone. You don't, you don't cross him. Even though Mario Garcia was the last person seen with Christy Wilson, to some, he appeared an unlikely murder suspect. He was a project manager for a local hospital, married with two teenage boys. I am, and I have been, happily married. Your husband is your destiny. 